continuing the terminology for mandibular fractures open or closed fractures any mandibular fracture that does not have extra oral communication or involves the tooth bearing areas is considered a closed fracture uh, intraoral and facial soft tissues adjacent to a fracture can be involved in the injury uh, when the fracture site communicates either intraorally through the mucosa or periodontal ligament or extraorally through a laceration or evulsive injury of the overlying skin, the fracture is considered to be open. Therefore, all fractures involving uh, the tooth bearing areas of the jaw are regarded as open fractures. The term uh, open fractures, contaminated and compound fractures are uh, synonymous. Displacement. Fractures can be considered displaced or non-displaced depending on the relationship of the fracture ends. A fracture is uh, displaced if the fragments are not perfectly anatomically aligned. A fracture is uh, grossly graded as minimal, uh, moderate or severe. Although there is no universally accepted definition for these terms. Uh, the importance of displacement is that uh, the more displaced the fracture, the more likely it is to be mobile and contaminated when open. Uh, the term uh, dislocated, subluxated and luxated describe the abnormal relationship of the condyle and glenite fossa's articular surfaces to one another. These terms are synonymous. Mobile versus non-mobile mobility can result when there is a displacement that requires the clinician to use both hands, one on either side of the fracture to feel for mobility. Now, mobile fractures are more painful for the patient because any mandible movement such as speaking, eating or swallowing uh, creates discomfort. 